Today I'm reviewing my 5th edition 120 color palette from BH Cosmetics. So as you may have seen, I ordered a crap load of palettes off of their website recently and I put them together in a little haul video just to show what I got and what was now in my collection and I had a few reasons for doing so. So one reason is that I wanted to sort of streamline my collection. One thing I hadn't really thought about was potentially getting rid of any makeup, but I thought wouldn't it be sweet if you could just have every color you'd ever need in like a few palettes, like they're tiny, they only take up like this much space, and then you'd just be done with it, like that was it, you wouldn't have to like shop for deals or anything, because they're always a good deal on BH Cosmetics. So that was one reason why I did so. And another reason was because I went to all this effort to put together this palette. Um, I was going to do a Z palette, my own Z palette, but then it turned out that the magnet I bought wasn't very strong, and so I bought all these sweet Tarte and Stila eyeshadows and depotted them, and then I labeled them all, and I went to all this effort and I glued them in here. And then my freaking cat like knocked it off and as you can see it suffered some pretty serious damage. A few of them I like mushed up and re-poured and some of them are just broken. And a couple of them are just gone now so. <laughs> I was pretty heartbroken about that. I probably put like six hours of like time like popping them out and like cleaning off the backs and like labeling them. So after that I was like, like screw this. Like, let's just get some easier makeup. This way, oh, see, there's like eyeshadow crumbs all over my desk now. Um, this way, if something happens, I can just buy a new one, right? So, yeah. The number five edition palette was the one I was most excited about. I feel like it's my everyday palette, and I do use it pretty often. I did go about two weeks where I wasn't wearing makeup because I had red stingy eyes for the last few months and my doctor suggested just try it just to rule out makeup, don't wear makeup for a while. And so since I've gotten these palettes there was two weeks where I wasn't wearing makeup so I didn't get the most experience in with them but I have done quite a few looks with these or with these palettes and I do really like this number five. I find it's really versatile. So I have this one palette here which is pretty dark. Up top it's got like some burgundy colors and some nice smoky plum and purples and then it's got like a bit of copper in there and then it's got the psycho pinks which are pretty sweet and that like one really bright one's pretty cool and then it's got some nicer highlighting colors. Oh, it's also got a really nice raspberry shade in there. I really like raspberry colors and some like softer pinky browns. So that's pretty nice. It's very wearable and pretty everyday. So this one here has purples, dark purples that you could use for lining and some pretty bright ones you could use for accenting. It's got your really bright colors. Um, it's not a red up here. It's like a raspberry again and some nice orange colors that would be good for blue eyes. And we've got some like grayish green colors over here and then a bunch of nice neutrals that you could use for blending colors and as you can see a pretty sweet strip for highlighting. So I really like the way this palette was laid out. Um, it does have a really nice like champagne tone in here with like some glitter which is pretty sweet and um, it does have a mixture of mattes and satins and shimmers. So I really like that. I'll show you some swatches that I did in some previous pictures and I would certainly recommend this palette for someone who's a little adventurous and someone who likes their like regular colors as well. So I think I paid $15 for this palette. There's 120 eyeshadows in here. The case is pretty nice. It's sort of matte black and has a good size mirror. Um, Definitely enough that you could do like a full face thing in it, so that's pretty cool. Um, I will say that the matte black packaging seems to always look dirty. I haven't particularly done much with this, but 
it looks dirty. And I do wipe off my stuff pretty regularly, but it's just the way this finish is. Um, that's probably the only like somewhat less positive thing I would say about this palette. When I was swatching, most of the colors were pretty pigmented and um, yeah, I didn't really have any complaints. I found that some of the more um, pastel matte shades were a little weak, but I have heard that they're a little trickier to get, which is why a lot of companies don't go that way. Anyways. All in all, I'd say for $15, it's a super steal, and if you're looking to build like a streamlined collection, you should definitely consider the BH palettes. Um, I did buy this with my own money, and I'm pretty happy about it. It's definitely, I would take it traveling for sure, so. So here's some pictures and swatches of what the palette holds, uh, just some random bits. I tried to get a good diversity of everything, and thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.